The President Akufuadu has expressed gratitude to the legal team that conducted the Ghana Cote d'Ivoire maritime arbitration. With a concerted and coordinated effort, the team secured victory for Ghana on the delimitation of maritime boundaries between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Speaking at a dinner held for the legal team, President Akufuadu said Ghana will forever remain grateful to the team. It was a moment to show appreciation to these men and women. By dint of hard work and dedication, Ghana can now lay claims to keep three points off the shores of Western Region for more oil exploration. The ruling in favor of Ghana by the Special Chamber of the International Law of the Sea, its loss, means Ghana will rake in more revenue to help better develop the country. For the past three years, Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire were locked up in a legal tussle at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. Ghana's team started the battle in 2014 with the then Attorney General, Madame Marietta Brew Apia Opong, as the leader of the team. The new administration under President Ekufuado also added some few hands that saw the present Attorney General, Madame Gloria Ekufu, as the overall leader of the two teams. The team, with support from some international legal hands, worked together to battle their way through the special court. At the end, the blend of the old and new hands brought honor to Ghana. Attorney General Madame Gloria Kufu said the bond of unity among the team members was overwhelming. The night when we implained to go for the ruling, before I implained, I called Marietta and we said a prayer together. Mr. President, sir, perhaps we should count ourselves privileged that on the role of the persons who have brought this good fortune to our country, when the role is called, my team and I would find our names on them. The recognition that you have given us tonight, I believe, I speak for my group, should spare us on in the future because there is still a lot of work to be done. President Ekufuadu paid glowing tribute to ex-president Jerry John Rawlings and John Ejekum Kufu for their roles in establishing the Ghana National Petroleum Commission and its restructuring respectively. Their efforts led to the discovery of oil in commercial quantities. He also paid tribute to late Professor John Evans Atamios and John Dramani Mahama for the initial roles they played in the case before saying thank you to the team. Although the precise economic impact is yet to be assessed following the delimitation of the boundary by the tribunal, it is clear that in net terms, Ghana will gain, not suffer, any loss of territory. Indeed, many were those who feared that the outcome of the judgment could strain the relationship and friendship that exists between Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. On the contrary, it appears to have rather strengthened the bonds of cooperation. When the verdict of the litigation was read on the 23rd of September 2017, the two countries, in a joint statement, declared that they were going to work in a healthy manner of cooperation to deal with the consequences of the judgment, which both sides openly accepted. The maritime boundary ruling in favor of Ghana paves the way to boost investor confidence and provide certainty in the country's economic direction.